Mark, here we are on the eve of uh, MBAA 2012. Uh, one of the things that's been very interesting watching the development of a whole new segment in the avionics market for the what if scenario. Let's face it, avionics, especially the glass panels, have become phenomenally reliable. The mean time between failures now is, is, is uh, the, those of us who are used to 10,000 hour ratios and 100,000 hour ratios are watching everything just go to the moon. But the fact of the matter is an electronic device every now and then can still hiccup. So having some kind of standby, some kind of ultimate what if, sounds like a really good idea when you're in the soup and trying to work your way out of a mess. Now the MD302 certainly seems like an intriguing solution for uh, standby attitude inf information. Tell us about the installation. Well, the MD302 is a, a product that Midcontinent Instruments and Avionics uh, out of Wichita has uh, come up with. It's a, it fits a perfect need uh, from before you'll see the MD302 here operational. There was, before this, you'll have three mechanical standby in indicators. The uh, mechanical indicators, not a, nothing wrong with them, but you are looking from here vertical dials to round dials. Now everything is an electronic LCD display. The LCD MD302 is going to have much higher reliability. It's also going to have less weight that it has its own lithium backup battery pack built into it. One of the other things with the MD302, it's actually integrated with the Garmin G1000, so it actually reduces pilot workload more than having the existing mechanicals there. It is going to be the perfect complement to the Garmin G1000 King Air retrofit. Mark, what kind of installation is something like this? The, actually, the installation is going to be our new standard. For any G1000 customer that comes to LA Aviation, this is what you're going to get a standard now. No more round dials. Okay. We're actually going through an STC certification process right now to certify this product with the G1000 King Air. Uh, that STC is expected to be done here before the end of the year. And once that STC is available, we will switch over and that this will be at a standard for the G1000 and no additional cost over the standard round dial mechanical gauges. So for a customer, it's a win-win less weight, more reliability, a better instrument integrated. As far as the installation for retrofit, customers that already have a G1000, that maybe we did or that was done, they can come in within two days, we can have them back out with an MD302 installed. What attracted you to using the 302? Well, because uh, there's other products out there that do electronic standby, but it, as you can see from the instrument panel here, there's very little space. Uh, the existing instruments here were two inch wide instruments. All the other electronic standbys out on the market were three inch, four inch wide. They wouldn't fit in the instrument panel. So Midcontinent looked at that and solved it with the MD302 as with one instrument here with a vertical display like that that can fit in the two inch, it fits perfect into there. With the horizontal mount, that will also lead to additional retrofits in Part 25 business jets. This one is a Part 25 approved uh, product, so we'll be doing additional certifications in other uh, business aircraft to uh, retrofit their mechanical gauges out. And what kind of standby time does a lithium battery give you? The lithium battery in this one is a minimum one hour. Most of the time it's doing two hours and maybe a little bit over that on a full charge. And it's built into it and it's an all-in-one unit. Okay. Well, we wish you luck with uh, getting through the STC process uh, unscathed and we'll look forward to seeing this in the real world in the not too distant future. Yep, it should be uh, coming to the market very quickly and I uh, appreciate that. Thanks, sir. Aero TV is brought to you by The DFC-90 all-digital attitude-based autopilot delivers significant performance and safety improvements over previous generation systems. Its innovative flight envelope protection guards against autopilot-induced stalls and the straight and level mode provides one-button recovery from unusual attitudes for an added measure of safety. Immensely popular within the Cirrus community, the DFC-90 is now being made available for a growing list of aircraft including Piper Matrix and Mirage, Cessna 182s, and beach bonanzas and barrens. Fly with confidence. Fly with DFC 90.